the next type is air to water heat pumps. They work in a very similar manner to air to air heat pumps, but without the reversing valve. The high pressure, high temperature vapor refrigerant leaves the compressor and it heads into a plate heat exchanger. On the other side of the plate heat exchanger, water will have been cycled through a hot water storage tank. Cold water enters the heat exchanger from the tank, and as it passes through the heat exchanger, it absorbs heat from the hot refrigerant. The water will then leave at a much hotter temperature and flow back to the hot water storage tank to repeat this cycle. As the refrigerant gives up its heat to the water, it will condense, and it will then leave the heat exchanger as a high-pressure, lower-temperature liquid. The refrigerant then passes through the filter dryer and the side glass, and then into the expansion valve. The expansion valve causes the refrigerant to become part liquid, part vapor state. It'll be at a low temperature and pressure. It then passes through the outdoor heat exchanger, where the outdoor ambient air causes the refrigerant to boil. The refrigerant then leaves at a low pressure, low temperature, slightly superheated vapor, and is then sucked back into the compressor to repeat the entire cycle again. The hot water tank then provides hot water to the radiators, sinks, and showers within the building.